have to do a bank, a big enough house for three, uh, like, pigs. Wait, can you say something in there? Yeah. Alright. I'm working, I'm working on the mother's dress. I'm making the spray. I'm making the white stuff. The little oh. tiny white stuff. It's hard to make. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to put it around this cup to make the white spray. So will that be the dress or the peg? The dress. Oh, got it. The bus. Okay, we need more. Okay. What are you guys trying to make? We're trying to make the car for the... We're trying to... We're trying to make, like, a wheels for the pig to move. And what are you using? You got that, Miles? Miles, how about we just draw another one of these? How'd you get this through? You just put. That's the thing we're working on. The, that one doesn't have hole. Oh, yeah. Mom, the mom is pigs. Yes. So that means we could, like, this will be. Is this the uh, this can is the top? And we could like cut the door and then leave the mark right here, and so it could bend open and shut. Yeah. You have to like make it like this ball. Like this kind of shape. And it's like uh, bigger than this. We have to make the ball go all the way in there. Oh. Because I messed up the mouth. And the mouth is just supposed to be like this. Yeah. Um, here, I'm we'll just going to like, like color it in. Yeah. So we we're going to be able to have a. The wolf go in here. So, and the wolf, the wolf is probably going to be bigger, so we can't just use this. Chip. Okay, like some. So far, we use like thread. This way, shiny thread to like for the clothes and put glue on these jewels for eyes and corks for the. Ears. What house? Yeah. Hey, I did it. This is the story of the three little pigs shown by Mrs. Brodigam's second grade class. There was the mama pig who lived in a nice home with her three children. The day came when she told them they needed to go and build their own home and live their own life. The first pig was excited to leave and eagerly took off. A little while later, the second pig took off to start their own life. And finally, the third pig left their mother's home. Each pig decided to build their house out of something different. The first pig quickly built his house out of hay. He was very happy in his new house. The second pig built his house out of stick. And the third pig took his own time and built his home out of brick.
One day, while the first pig was enjoying his time at home, the big bad wolf appeared. He said, little pig, little pig, let me come in, and the pig would not let him come in. So he decided to huff and puff and blow his house in. Once the house was blown down, the first little pig rushed over to his second brother's home. The second pig let his brother come into the house and told him he should have built a stronger house like he did. The next day, they had an unexpected visitor. The big bad wolf appeared and said the same thing to the second pig. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pigs responded, not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. And so the big bad wolf blew their house over. The two brothers rushed to the third brother's house. The third brother let them come in. So the next day, the big bad wolf appeared at the third brother's house. And he said, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. And of course the pig said, not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So the wolf decided he was going to get into that house by going down their chimney. He tried and tried and the closer he got to the bottom, he burnt himself. He got out of that chimney as fast as he could and he ran away and those three little pigs never saw him again. Three little brothers live happily ever after.